Hello and welcome to this lesson on Itano and subfield loops. ClickSense allows you to use loops in your click script to help you iterate over statements so that they can be repeated for different values. But sometimes you may want to iterate over values being read from the source file, such as creating a table with a list of dates that fall between values held in a start date field and an end date field or you may want to split out values held in a list in a single field into separate rows for each value in the list. These actions can be performed by using functions such as itano and subfield. Let's start by looking at the itano example. The itano function can be used to create iterations within a load statement when used in conjunction with a while clause. In this example, the role structure history data is used to create a table with all dates between the start date and end date ranges from the source table, also with a new row for each date and corresponding RSID for that date. Once the new table is created with date and RSID, the additional fields can be joined to it by using a second load statement, where the tables join on the RSID field. If you have a more complicated example, you may have to consider using interval match instead. Next, we'll take a look at the subfield example. When using subfield, normally you would provide three parameters, but if you omit the third parameter, it creates an implicit subfield loop. This can be useful when you have a list of values in a single field that you need to separate. Here, subfield is being used to split the comma separated values in the quals field and create a new row of data for each. And trim has been added to remove any blank characters from the start or the end. You can stay up to date with all of our content by subscribing to our YouTube channel or following us on social media. If you'd like to see more from this course, then head over to websy.academy where you'll find our full set of training courses complete with hands-on activities and much more.